Andrew Sluter here, pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Asheville, North Carolina, doing a quick video on a very controversial subject, why the Jew is not blessed by God. So in recent weeks, there's been a lot of controversy over Israel and the Jew. Now with Trump officially recognizing the capital of Israel as Jerusalem, uh, there's a lot of prophetic talk and buzz around the nation of Israel. So I want to give you, though, a quick video on why the Jew is not blessed by God. Now, before you call me anti-Semitic or before you say that I hate the Jew, let me go ahead and clarify my position that I am pro-Israel, I am pro-Jew, I think that Israel is still God's chosen people, and I still think that the Jew will one day be nationally restored and will all of Israel shall be saved as Romans 11, 26 uh, states. But I do not believe that right now the Jew is currently under the blessings of God because the Jews as a whole are underneath a curse because they're in rejection of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that all those who continue to try to do the law and try to trust the law to save them are under a curse. And so I believe that the Jew as a national body, because they're in a state of rejection, are not currently under the blessings of God. We can find this clue throughout the Old Testament where God said he would drive them out of the land, that he would you know, have them under a curse. And we, of course, know based upon several Old Testament scriptures that one day they will be restored uh, as a national body um, at the end of the seven-year tribulation period known as Jacob's Trouble. Now, here is why I stand with Israel, though, and here is why I am pro-Jew, even though they are currently under a state of rejection and under the curse of God. Because Genesis 12.3 is still an unconditional promise to anybody who blesses the Jew. I think sometimes, especially myself, uh, at times we get the promise of Genesis 12.3 confused that God blesses the Jew. But if you read carefully Genesis 12.3, there is not a promise that God blesses the Jew. There is a promise that God blesses though those who will bless the Jew. Now, having said all this, let me say this one last thing. Um, we have to be very careful that we do not get an unbalanced view of the Jew. The Bible says in Romans chapter 11 and verse 28 that they are enemies of the gospel. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 15 that they killed the Lord Jesus. They were one of the biggest hindrances the, uh, to Paul's ministry as far as a people group, the Jews, trying to keep uh, people like Paul from preaching the gospel. Okay, so they are the enemies of the gospel. But the same verse, Romans eleven twenty eight says, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. So even though the Jews are the enemies of the cross and some of the most wicked people on earth today are the Jews, we also have to understand they're still God's chosen people. God still loves them and one day they will be restored. So there you have it, folks. The Jews are not blessed by God, but there is still a special blessing connected with the Jew for all those who will bless the Jew. And I, for one, want to stand with Israel, and I, for one, want to say that I'm glad Trump recognized the, uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, and I sure am glad that one day God is going to bring the Jew back. And until then, I'm going to give them the gospel, and I'm going to bless them. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.